Welcome to this video on installing LangArdino on your laptop using VirtualBox. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netforge. So let's get LangArdino installed in VirtualBox. Before you even start, you do need to download the trial version of LangArdino, so go to netforge.com, select the Download Now option, and choose the ISO image. Download that and store it on your laptop somewhere. So we didn't get we have my, I have my VirtualBox manager here, and I just create a new machine. We give it a name, we'll call it LangGuardian. Operating system type, choose Linux, and scroll to the top there, pick 64-bit version. Let's go next. Memory-wise, you do need two gigabytes would be recommended. I'm gonna give it 4096. The hard drive, because it's Local machine, 8 gigs is probably okay. Just okay, the disk set up there. Now before you power it on, there's a few other things you need to do. Firstly, right click, go into settings. Click on network, and for the adapters, I'm gonna to choose to um, bridge it, adapter one, and enable adapter two, and I'm gonna bridge that as well. On adapter 2 for the promiscuous mode setting here, change that to allow all so that we can actually sniff the traffic. And also make sure that it's the, well it depends what you want to monitor. If you want to monitor wireless, just select that. In my case, or I'm going to use my gigabit ports here, I'm going to monitor the traffic on that. Adapter 1, don't really need to worry too much. I'm going to leave it unbridged. That looks okay. And that's fine. The next thing we need to do is click on storage and click the plus here and add a DVD device. So now it asks to choose a disk and we browse to where we've downloaded the LangGuardian. So the ISO is selected, let's go open. Let's make sure that's selected there, it's fine. And okay that. So we've got uh, four gigabytes of memory, we've got uh, two network cards and we've got the ISO chosen there as a CD. And we power it on. Let's close that message there. Now what you should see is profound Langarnian installation. It's booting off the ISO, which is exactly what I want. So now we just click into the box in here and we continue the installation. Type yes for that. Just one disk found, type number one. Are you sure we want to continue? Type yes. Pick number one for the Interface, so this is going to be used to manage the LangGuardian, and we give it an IP address, so 10.1.1. So this is a fixed IP address, in my case on my LAN. Summon it mask. Default gateway is fine, DNS server is fine. Type in yes to install, and the LangGuardian software is now being installed. This is the first stage of the wizard. We complete the wizard through the web browser in a few minutes. So now asks us to press return there to reboot. Now, <clears throat> just need to power off the machine at this point here because we need to um, stop it booting from the CD. So just shut it down. Just power it off there for a second. Or maybe you know the way to do this, <clears throat> but I just power it off. So just go to settings, go to the storage, select the ISO and delete that as a boot, as a device. Okay that, and then power it back up again. As I said, there may be another easier way to do that if you're familiar with VirtualBox, but that works for me. Just get rid of the ISO as a bootable device. So we now just need to wait for the next stage this install to complete. Just has the prompt here to please wait. So just wait for a couple of minutes. It should eventually come back and ask you to log on to your browser. Okay, so we now just control all to get out of this console here. We go to a browser. 
and we put in the IP address. In my case, 10.1.1.200. And we complete the wizard. So agree with the licensing terms, click next. Network settings look fine. Email settings will just leave as the default. It's up to yourself, you can change those. System clock, leave it on NTP, and the time is correct. So now we set a GUI password, minimum of seven characters. It's next on that. For this, I'm not going to set up the AD integration. Um, you can do, but if it's just on your laptop, there's probably no need. Just skip this step. If you're installing Langarnian in a production environment, would be and you have AD, then it would be advisable to complete that. Sensors up, and we just press finish. Now log on for the first time. So I'm now logged on. There's a new message here, some new features. We just dismiss that. So the best thing to do is leave it running for a couple of minutes, uh, which I will do, and I'll come back again. So we'll have some data collected, and then I'll show you what you can do. So it's now up and running a couple of minutes and I can start to see the data that's coming in and out my laptop uh, network port. So you can see websites, you can click on the website and drill down, see the amount of data associated with websites and even what's been accessed on those sites. If I go back, I can see what applications are running on my laptop. So I got file share traffic, some encrypted traffic, web traffic, some DNS. Very small, most traffic from my laptop's file share, and I can even drill down on that and see things like file names. So, as I run applications, as I do stuff, I've got a full audit trail of all the activity going in and out the network card. So, using VirtualBox, it's an ideal way to evaluate Langarnian and get to see what it can be used for on your network.